filming this in the new car. Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to another adventure challenge. We are not at home. The last few we started it in our living room, but right now we are in the car because we are on our way back from P-Town right now. And we decided to start an adventure challenge while we're out because I'm sure we're gonna have to go somewhere. So we got the book and we're about to scratch off our next adventure. I'm gonna do the, oh, oh. I want to do the, the um... You do it. No, I feel weird. I don't want to grab that. It's like in your eye. <laughs> I just feel weird. No, just grab it. It's my new glass. It's ew. It's like squishing your eyelashes. <laughs> it's my new glass eye. Arr. All right, all right. Okay. Quit screwing around. All right, I'm going to scratch this off now. Ugh, this makes me cringe. Oh, there's numbers. I should probably say that this one says it's free to do it before 6 p.m. and it's two to three hours and that you'll need a babysitter and you need to travel somewhere. So we figure since we're already out, why not? Oh my God, how many numbers can there be? Okay, ready? Mm. Okay, so this challenge says, number one, each of you write down your ultimate date idea for the night. This is your choice to make it all about what you want. Okay. Select one item from your house. Keep it as a secret that you will take to a pawn shop to sell. What happens if you live on an island and nothing's open? Whoever sells their item or for more money gets to choose the date night idea. Combine the money you got to pay for your date. So that's actually a really cool idea. I just don't think we Do have a have pawn, pawn shop shops? on the Cape. But I did see this date idea from TikTok that's almost similar. What is it? Um, you We pick... Um, we, I don't know exactly, they picked a appetizer, a food, and a dessert, and then you did, like, um, rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors to, to go to it, so it's, like, a little bit similar. Oh, I'm sad, I don't think there's, I don't think there's pawn shops on the cape, but I don't want to sell anything, either. Why would I want to sell something? Okay, I think we need to brainstorm a little bit about this one. It seems really cool, though. Whoever sells it for more money gets to go on the date that they want. Okay, update. There is a pawn shop on the Cape. It's in Hyannis. Nick's calling right now to see if they're open. Hey, I was just checking to see what time are you guys open until? Six o'clock, six o'clock. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. We're in luck. We're in luck. So there is a pawn shop and it is open. I always jump the gun way too fast and I'm like, Because why would we don't have anything here? a pawn shop on Cape Cod? There's a bunch of, um, second, what's those places your mom like to go? Thrifting. Oh, thrift stores. Thrift stores. But they don't buy things. I think you just bring stuff to donate. Yeah, so. All right, we are in, we're in Wellfleet right now, right? Yeah. So we're in Wellfleet. We're, we're heading back home to grab things. Dennis. So we're gonna grab some stuff, figure out our date night. We're not gonna tell each other and then sell our items, see who gets more for it and then do that date, whoever wins. Here this we is go. kinda cool. Okay, we're back home and I'm trying to figure out what I can find to sell. I apologize. Cat box is in the living room now, so sorry for that. Anyways, I'm trying to figure out what I could possibly sell. I never thought that I would be trying to sell something. So I'm going to go in the attic and see if I can find something because I have no clue. I also got to figure out what kind of date do I want to go on tonight? I'm already really tired from going to P-Town and doing all that stuff because we don't get out of the house often. So of course that's going to tire me, but I got to think of something. The state of our attic is absolutely insane. Like, how do I even get up in here? Let me just show you one more time. <laughs> so I was thinking, actually Nick found both of these. I literally don't have a clue what I would even begin to bring to a pawn shop. I've never been to a pawn shop, but Nick has a watch that was his grandfather's that he's just never going to wear. So we're going to try that. And then do you guys know what a frap maker is? Is there a certain name for that? A blender? Oh, it makes fraps. Well, yes, it's like the kind you find at old estimates. Yeah, so we're gonna, we it's have like two vintage. of those. Yeah, we have a vintage one, we have two vintage ones, so we're gonna we sell one. black in one. the kitchen, and now uh, there's this one. It's the exact same thing. It's yeah. just really nice. It's just yellow. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna do both of those because, yeah. So we did that thing where, well, I did. Nick was very constructive. He was doing something with a guitar. But me, I sat on the couch and played Animal Crossing for an hour. So now I'm in that like daisy, like I'm tired and have no motivation. So let's go finish this adventure challenge. Behind me, uh, not over there. By the way, that place right there. Can I point right there? Yeah, that place. It's called Murphy's on Main and I have prints in there. But anyways, right next to it is the pawn shop. Didn't even know that. We're about to go in. I'm going to switch to my phone just because I feel a little weird filming in there. I'm not even sure if it's allowed or whatever. So I'm just going to switch to my phone and film that. So there we go. I don't know who's going to win. 
Well, that didn't really go so good. <laughs> Both of our stuff was worthless. <laughs> they literally straight up wouldn't take mine, which was the, that thing right there, the mixer. And then for your watch, or for Nick's grandfather's watch or whatever it was, he's like, um, it's a very cheap dollar watch. It's like $10. I mean, by the end, he was like, it was 28, something like that. But he was like, yeah, I think it's uh, a really cheap watch. And he's it's, like, it's a family thing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't care. I would have pooped if you got like a few hundred dollars for it. Cause the way he was looking at it and stuff, I was like, oh, maybe. Yeah. Um, but, but so I decided not to get rid of it, but does that mean I win? Because mine could have been sold there. Mine yeah. was at least worth something. Yeah. This is worthless. All right. So I would say Nick wins this one. So right. what is your date? All right, so what I was thinking is we could go to K Katie's for burgers. Oh, okay. That's the one that's down the street, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, because they had good burgers that one time we went. I thought you didn't like them, though. I did like them. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, not as good as wall burgers. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. And then we can go home and watch Metallica S&M. What's that? Number two, symph them with a the symphony. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> we, never, sounds we fine. never watched that. That's It's new. Okay. That sounds good. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Do you guys want to know what mine was? What was yours? I was going to have us drive to wear him to get Longhorns. <laughs> And then we were going to come back and we were going to buy Raya on Disney and watch that. Okay. That was mine. Oh, and then I was going to, so I was really trying to find like a donut ice cream sandwich because I feel like I've seen that somewhere, but I couldn't remember where. So, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to make waffles and get stuff to make like a sundae, a waffle ice cream sundae or whatever. <laughs> but nice. I lost, so I'm going to do what you want to do. That's right. I win. You win. Let's All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner was really good, by the way. Although my last bite was an onion, and I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> still got that onion taste in my mouth, but don't worry. See that? I still got some peppermint. Ghirardelli chocolate, peppermint bark. It's the best. It's in the freezer. This will take away that onion, onion smell, onion breath. All right, put the sweatpants on. I'm about to get into this movie that he wants to watch. Something to do with Metallica and the symphony. Okay, it is the end of the night. We watched the Metallica Symphony. Nick fell asleep on the couch for like half an hour. I scrolled through social medias and stuff, but now it's time to go to bed. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for following our adventure challenges. We're having so much fun doing these each week. It's something to look forward to. If you guys are thinking about getting it, I suggest you do. They have solo edition, family edition, the couple edition that we're doing, and they have so many great ideas. It's been a lot of fun. So thanks for following along. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up leave a comment below uh, i like to respond to those and subscribe to our, our channel if you haven't already we have a lot more views than we do likes so subscribe it takes a second that would mean the world to us all right we'll see you in another vlog bye